Recent reports from the war in Ukraine outline intense fighting for important eastern Ukraine territories while the Russian forces continue to press on. Researchers told congressional members that the fight is at a critical moment. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp reports. We are at a pivotal moment in this war. In a recent congressional hearing, the focus was on the conflict in Ukraine. Currently, localized assaults are underway in Donetsk, Luhansk, and Zaporizhia oblasts, possibly to bring these regions under full occupation and to keep Ukrainian forces engaged. Reports from the front lines say both sides are fighting hard for parts of Ukraine's eastern territory. Experts told senators they believe Russia will continue the fight for a long time to achieve Russian President Vladimir Putin's goal of conquering Ukraine altogether. At a minimum, Russia wants to get total control of the Donbass region, the Donetsk and Luhansk provinces, which have been partially occupied by Russia since 2014. The next goal would be total control of two new regions, which he has declared are annexed to Russia, Kherson and Zaporizhia, an artificial red line. Then Putin might be willing to sit down and negotiate an agreement for a ceasefire. But make no mistake, that would only be temporary. While other European allies have contributed to Ukraine's efforts, the U.S. has been the biggest supplier. Experts warn there's a growing sense of uncertainty abroad and at home of why the U.S. and our allies should continue to help Ukraine. The reasons for American interest are many. The war threatens the American-led international order. We cannot be secure in our leadership role if we allow a war of regression to progress and persist in a major sovereign state with the potential of a Russian victory. This is about international stability and a world in which rules are observed rather than the disruptive world Putin wants, one where there are no rules. At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting.